probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest, black box theatre in Hong Kong. Um, all of the seats are retractable, so they can be taken out or we can put it in. The stage doesn't have to be here, it can be in the middle, it can be at that end, it can be on the side. Very flexible. The range from dance to film to uh, theatre, anything. But it's not just about the black box theatre. I want to take you out and show you the rest of the facility. Every part of this building is designed for performance. And in the lobby, it's all set up so we can put lighting, we can put sound. Again, this is a space that can be used just as a lobby, but also as a performance space. So here is the Lighthouse, Hong Kong's newest Lighthouse. It's a bar cafe designed for live music and other performances. So you can come get a drink, see a show. After the show, come get another drink, see a band. Uh, it's quite a flexible space. So this will open later this summer. So we'll turn around before we go up the stairs, you'll notice this space up here we'll be using for projections, video installation. Uh, so that's also a space for performance and, and video uh, as well. One of the unique features of the free space is that it is in the park. And this space here, we can have up to 10,000 people for outdoor performances. We have two smaller spaces with capacity of around 2,000. So again, we can have three or four stages going at once, as well as the free space. The box and the live house are for performance. Up here, uh, the studio where we're standing now and the room where we'll go next are for creation. We have artists doing uh, short-term residencies, works in progress showcases. So it's an investment in process before we even get to the product. Yeah. So uh, this is the larger of the two uh, rehearsal um, um, activity spaces. Uh, we think that this uh, will be very popular with um, more sort of things like small seminars, uh, lectures, we can get about 100 people in here. It also allows audiences to get much closer to the artwork. So by being in an intimate space like this, to watch a work in progress, the, it, we're blurring the boundaries between artist and audience. You get to see behind the scenes how a work is created. If you look out on the terrace, uh, there are no walls between us and the park. That's deliberate. We decided that we wanted to really emphasize the link between the park and the free space building itself. So we anticipate the opportunity, indoor or outdoor events here, fully integrated into the park.